Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be drawing Asta from Black Clover. Uh, so we're gonna, it's his demon form. We'll get right in and we're gonna start with his eyes. So his head is close up as usual on his face. His head is kind of tilted and he's demon side that side. Eyes, normal eyes, that side. So, we'll get right in. And um, we'll start as usual right here on the right hand side with his eyelid. So, start just here. And it comes up. It goes around just there kind of pointy at the end and we can make the top of this just a bit thicker which is normal in manga and anime real thick eyelids uh, in under there he has his iris circle just like that and with the bottom eyelid of course because his, his head is kind of tilted he's in that demon form so he's kind of got that twisted look so his eyes go diagonal this way so your bottom eyelid will go this way and then this will come up towards here now he's got sort of wrinkles and lines around his eye so we can do some of those. So you've got a little one there, one here. Just giving them that weird look. Different wrinkles coming up and around his eye. There's one just above here for an eyelid type shape. And then there. And if you wanted, you can give him those. <coughs> uh, a pupil, you can give him the thin cat-like ones or there is normal round ones so I'm just gonna check so yeah so um, the one on this side is normal and the his demon one is thin so you could just add a normal one like that there and then we have his eyebrows so just above just above this eye here we have an eyebrow and, he, and of course he has that hair that comes down the middle of his face that comes over these eyebrows. So we can draw these in first anyway. So eyebrow comes up and then gets real thin just here and kind of curves down that way so it's like a tick and then you could draw the other side but it gets just real thin up here at the top. So then we'll come over and we'll do the other eye. So again, normally it would be flattened straight down, but for this one we're going to go diagonal, see like that, and then it comes over about another eye distance before we start the other eye. So we do the top eyelid again, and this one curves up and comes around like that. We could make it a bit pointier maybe at the end and a bit thicker on top. Just adding a bit of weight to that top eyelid. And then we will do the iris, circular. And then this one is like a thin cat-like sort of slit kind of eye there. Yeah, we can do the bottom eyelid then. So we'll start here and we'll just bring it around curvy, just beside that, comes under, and then comes over there. And then of course he has those wrinkles, sort of lines that make him look a bit demonic. And then he's one above, going this way. And then his eyebrow then is just here. So it comes, we have just a frown line kind of there. And this comes up that direction and it's thicker on this end. And then they join just there. Now, so he has his hair that's in the middle, his fringe that comes down the middle of those two eyes. And of course he has one dark side and one light side. So we can just start with the demon side, the dark side first, and it just comes down right beside that eyebrow. Just there. So 
spikes back up, comes back down, spikes up, spikes down. Of course, if I'm doing too fast, you can pause this, don't forget. And then this one comes up. And then we have the sort of the blonde side, which is kind of just here underneath. And it comes up to there. And then it comes down. Just around his face. Spikes, just like that. And the same on the other side. Spike. Just there. And this will come all the way up around his head. And we have like a horn here and his headband that you can see here. But we'll finish his face first. So we have uh, his nose, so just a line there. And then very simple, just two nostrils, just like that. We could give him a frown line just in there as well. And then his mouth is just below that, and he's kind of, he's got, he's clenching his teeth together in this one. So we'll just draw the shape for the open mouth first. This side is wider than this side. So we'll just curve like that. And then this will go back. So it's just under his eye, see? The edges of the mouth are usually underneath the eye. So this one will curve around. Something like that. It's like a, a P, kind of a, a bubble sort of shape. And then he has teeth. So the simplest way to do teeth is you do the dark side that's inside. So there's like a shadow in here and here. <clears throat> so we can start on this side. Just do that line. <coughs> and then just this is like shadow in here. And you could make maybe some of them look a bit pointy just by adding a bit more shadow there. Uh, he has more of a pointy tooth on his demon side. So like more of a fang, kind of a fang type shape. So you could draw that, so it's like, there's a fang there. And then there's kind of a gap in between that tooth, between these. So you could just make this dark, just there. And then bring that shadow just in there to the other side. See, so that's where you put a fang and kind of just a dark, the inside of his cheek. You can just see inside the mouth and that's just black. Just a line there, just to show he's got a bottom lip. And then we'll do the shape for his face that comes down. So remember, his head is tilted, so normally the chin would be like just right here at the bottom. But because we're tilted, we're gonna go here. So the chin is just here. And these will come up to jaw and around to his face. So we'll go up this side first. Curves up towards that hair, like that. And we can do the same then on the other side. Curves up, trying to keep it symmetrical, as symmetrical as I can anyway. And then up, this way, like that. And then on his face he has those uh, demon kind of waves, right? So it's just, there's like a thick one and then like thin ones around it. So you just do like a wavy line up to his eye and then make it kind of thicker there and then there's just like thinner ones kind of around it comes down kind of like the demon power is kind of taking them over you know and there's another one thin one just here and then it comes down around gets a bit thicker here as it goes down towards his neck This is black. And this will continue past his eye and just come up past his, uh, his eyebrow. So we go a wavy line, just there, thin, just gets there. And then it's kind of thicker around here. You can color it in dark as well. So you know, you're just giving it that sort of wavy look. And then there's a, just a thin one just beside that. Up, just to there. 
Yeah, so we can finish his hair. So, that in here. So we have another spike that comes up. There, comes back down. Comes down, comes around, comes up to another spike. Comes back down. And then goes up just to here comes out and then we have that sort of horn that comes out when he's in his demon form just here so this will curve around to a point like that so that's the top of the horn and then this is going to curve back it's kind of like an s shape see that it's the bottom of an s and this s gets bigger on top like that so it's kind of an s shape here and then we have the spikes on top of his head. So we spike up. And come down. And there's like a bigger spike here. And then this one comes down this way. And then this will come down here to another spike, just like that. And these smaller spikes, because the middle of his head is here so we have those spikes that are kind of in the middle and that's parted so dark side light side so you can draw the line just down there to a spike here spike here another one here um, there is one right in the middle and then it starts to go over to the other side towards the light side on the other side. So this is gonna go that way. Spiking. This one starts to come down. Go across and then they become the, his big normal blonde spikes that are here. Those big ones that he has. And you could put some hair lines in there. There's another one here. His headband is just in here. We'll draw the hair first. And we have another one just there. Spiking. And then one underneath his headband coming down from this one. So spikes up. Around to there, and then we have just some hair lines on those. So his headband is just in here, so it comes down. We have the sort of buzz symbol in there as well, but we'll draw the underside of that headband too. It comes around all the way. Two, let's see, curves up, comes around to here. There's a little V that joins it to this dark side here. And all that's black and then this is black as well. I'm pretty sure you could draw in some more hairlines here, but in what, what I can see, it's just mostly dark and black and all black lines in there. So I'll draw his symbol, just a simple shape for the black bull's head. You can copy this, of course, in more detail if you wanted, but just a simple sort of shape like that, and it's golden, and then various shapes inside. You don't really have to go into too much detail, people will get what this is here anyway. Just a simple shape. And then we can just see the side of his head, the other, the headband that goes around here. This is all dark and demon sort of style. His ears are here, just there. And then another ear, just here, earlobe. Bones and ligaments inside, of course. And then there's just some little hair spikes that come out from here. One. 
two, one, two. And what's next? So neck, neck, neck and shoulders. So very simply coming down from the jaw, gonna draw his neck, muscles just there. Neck muscles then continue down towards the shoulders. Just like this on both sides, diagonal lines. And then this will bump up this way and down and off my page. And this will go off my page that way because he's kind of tilted. Two more lines in there for neck muscles. One, two, they come down together towards a, in a V type way. And then he has a collarbone there right and another collarbone kind of this way towards his shoulder there towards his AC joint I know it's called an AC joint because I tore mine <laughs> uh, bit of anatomy there for you he's a shadow under his chin so you could draw that in you could hatch it you can color it darker just here so you could, easiest way of course is always just hatching lines, manga style, kind of like that. And then, or two here and then he has this demon power stuff that comes up kind of in a tree branch like fashion up towards his neck so let's see so we go so you, kind of, you don't really have to be too precious you're just trying to get it like branches of a tree I guess Lines that curve up. It's like they're trying to get to his brain. But he's so stubborn, he's not letting it get to his brain. <laughs> this way. And then this one comes up towards his neck. Right. A bit here in his neck. Adding these curvy lines, bumpy lines. And this one will go down off this way. And just another one crawling up here. Dark, and I'll color these black. And then we can add just uh, some of his wing that comes out from his shoulder. So you just uh, do sort of wavy lines that come up this way. One, two, you can do maybe some power coming off that as well. Any sort of way you'd like. And then that black, black side, eyes, whatever way you'd like to do it. You could add scratch marks for from his flight and that's the basic idea Asta if you'd like to see a more normal one I can do that as well let me know in the comments like subscribe share all the rest see you in the next one thanks guys